the election of 1796 is significant because it's the first time that we're going to have the development of political parties in the United States, right? With Washington serving his two terms and after his second term, he decided to retire, which set a precedent for every other president after him, that two terms would be the limit because that officially was not part of the constitution. There was no term limits on the presidency when it was first written. However, Washington did not want to serve more than two terms, so he went ahead and retired back to Mount Vernon, and therefore in 1796, um, we have our first presidential election with political parties. And these political parties kind of stemmed from those who agreed with Hamilton's view of the Constitution and Jefferson's view of the Constitution and the government. And so those who were more Jeffersonians became what was known as the Democratic Republic Party, in which they held a very strict constructionist view of the Constitution. Um, they relied mostly on agriculture. The idea of a nation was made up of small farmers, and they were sympathetic for the French, right? And so most of these were located in the South and along the Western frontier. As opposed to the Federalist Party, which were largely supported by Hamilton, right, and those that were known as Hamiltonians, believed in a strong central representative government. Instead, they viewed a loose construction of the Constitution. They relied on trade, especially with England. And finally, they were um, merchants and saw the importance of city and urban merchants. Federalists did a lot of business and lived in the urban areas in New England. So from these two parties, we have the Democratic Republic Party, who chose Thomas Jefferson to run to lead them for presidency, and the Federalist Party, who then nominated John Adams. So in the election of 1796, it ended with John Adams winning the election and being named president. And of course, at that time, the second runner up, those with the second most votes, became the vice president. So Thomas Jefferson became the vice president. And so once again, the election of 1796 is significant because of the fact that it's the first time that we have the emergence of political parties in the United States in an election.